How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Creative Process. As you know, my name is Jaden, and right next to me I have Silvana. How are we doing today? I'm good, thank you. Thanks good. so much for having me on. Oh, it's my pleasure and well thank you for taking time out of your schedule to, uh, we just wrapped up a photo shoot, so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to photograph you and also to interview you for the channel. Thank you. Oh, glad to be here. <laughs> it was a great shoot, so oh. definitely recommend. Oh, thank you. I'm very flattered <laughs> and same. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and um, so, as um, if for people who are watching who don't know what you do with your, with yourself when it comes to the creative arts, what do you do with yourself? Yes. So um, my background is I do graphics design um, in like outside of burlesque, and um, that's my main profession. Graphics design, animation. Um, wow. Is, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, that's something that I'm trying to do more of actually is get 2D and 3D. 3D animation is something that I'm trying to branch more into and it's something I've always had a bit of passion for. Um, I just think it's so interesting playing with like, setting the scene and setting lighting and the texturing of everything. So Amazing, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. And do you, so and you're working based in Melbourne as Yes, well? worked based in Melbourne working in Melbourne, um, born here, lived here my whole life. Um, and I think it's Melbourne's a great sort of city, mm. especially for um, creatives and getting to be able to work in this field and just mm. having inspiration everywhere. I mean, everywhere has inspiration, but I think definitely yeah. Melbourne's got a really good community for it. One hundred percent, absolutely, and it's uh, we definitely have a very great wide range of artistic community mm. down this way. Yes. And um, is there like, just quickly I'll ask you, is there like, because you said you've done a few like animating and lighting and all that, is there any, I guess you could say, things that people might have seen that you have worked on or is huh. it like, you know, um, or can you mention it or? Is yeah, it... no, no, I can. I've, nothing that I've really put out there, it's more okay. just for, actually this, I've done stuff here and there but I don't think it's really been seen by anyone. Um, although on my Vimeo channel there is an animation Ooh, I did. Okay. <laughs> There's one thing that's out there, oh, I don't really have a channel, but there is one thing out there that I did during a short course. It's a small animation, a few seconds of three minutes I think, and it's just, um, I'm really into Pixar. <laughs> like, oh, I love Pixar. Absolutely. So that piece I did was yeah, very much inspired by them and it's just about, um, it was a short 10 week course that I did um, in Melbourne and it was just learning how to use this program called mm -hmm. Maya. Okay. Um, learning how to 3D model in it and how to animate in it at the end, uh, adding uh, texture, lighting and composition. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's just something I've put together and it's up, it's up online so yeah. um, that I was really happy about that I did for 10 weeks, yeah, so Amazing. nothing that was actually actual work, mm. just a side project. Oh, yeah. we all have our side projects that we do and it works up to bigger things at yes. the end of the day. Yeah. And um, so I guess talking about, so you mentioned that you, a, uh, you are a bliss performer. So how long ago did you begin that journey? I started, so from the very first time I ever tried it, um, was right before COVID. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, everyone knows about um, COVID. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> I wanted to get back into dancing because I used to dance when I was younger. Um, I did tap and jazz for a, a while but stopped for a period of time mm. um, to do other things. Um, and I really wanted to get back into dancing and actually my partner suggested, oh, you know, why don't you try burlesque? I was like, oh, okay. Like, mm. so I haven't really looked into it that much at the time um, and so I found some studios in Melbourne and the first one I found was Maison um, in Richmond. Yeah. I did a single class, single class over the Christmas period with them mm. and I remember the first class I ever did was with um, was with Velma. Velma oh, Velma. amazing. Um, it was one of her showgirl classes and it was just a one-off one class and then yeah, ever since then I really enjoyed it and started to come back more, did a term. My first um, full showcase term was with Poppy Cherry. Incredible. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it so much and I love the aspect that you learnt a routine and then did a 
yeah. showcase for it. Um, and I just love that, like putting the costume together. Um, and then, because oh, also one other thing I used to, that I had a passion for was textiles. Oh, incredible. So yeah. that, and you would definitely be using that in your yeah. know, right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, after that uh, COVID hit, did some cl online classes with them with Maison at home um, and then came back and did more show cl classes once they were back up and running. And then from there, I was like, I actually want to start, you know, I want to debut a solo now. I think, I think. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, I want to try something new. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, did my, signed up, I had an idea, um, and I'm very much like, for me, <laughs> I will get stuff done if I know there's a deadline for something. Like, that's how I keep myself um, yeah. on the go with uh, mm -hmm. doing a project. So, did the first solo showcase for myself, and I had so much fun coming up with the costume idea. Um, and shout out to my partner again, who helped me pick the song for it. Amazing. Um, great creative ideas, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, so the song came, to, and then that's sort of how the theme came along as well, and then the uh, colours and all that mm. stuff. The costume, I had so much fun putting together, and that's where most, a lot of my textile skills really came in handy as well. Um, and then I had so much fun with that and the choreography, uh, put that together and with help from Gina as well, Gina Sterling, she uh, mentored me for that dance and then yeah debuted it and now I'm can't stop. So, can't stop, uh, can't yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I did just um, last December saw yes. you perform in the uh, the purple costume and yes. it's, so it is a an incredible act, very, very incredible. So congratulations Thank on you. that. That's really <laughs> exciting to see you put all these performances together. And um, yeah, it's amazing. And I guess um, I'll ask you this as, um, you know, someone who's part of the blessed community, I like to ask this with a, um, you know, with, as a performer who goes on stage, obviously performs in pasties and all that sort of thing. Like when it comes to, I guess, you know, the nudity aspect of the art form, mm -hmm. was that something you had to learn to be comfortable with or was it something you've always been comfortable with? That was something I was already comfortable with prior, yeah, to yeah. Um, being part of burlesque. Um, so I've got, I'm very much in the kink community as well. That was sort of where I, where my partner and I started first and then that's sort of how I branched off into burlesque after that. Oh, so wow. I was already new you know, within that space of being open and communicating, you know, different um, needs mm. and wants and what you're mm -hmm. comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, and um, consent is definitely a very big part 100%. of that community, so communication is so strong. Um, and yeah, just the nudity part I was pretty open with because of that scene, mm -hmm. um, and visiting nude beaches, just... Mm -hmm being really open and trying to find a part of me that was comfortable being nude and um, yeah, just really enjoying it and yeah. yeah, that kinks community definitely helps bring out a lot of, you know, diff a different side of you that I, well, I didn't know until yeah. experiencing it. So it was something I was sort of used to and then yeah. performing in burlesque sort of allowed me, oh, one thing is I'm an exhibitionist, so I love just people watching me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I also like watching, but that's okay. <laughs> but I love performing, and um, and so I think when being on stage for burlesque just helped express that side of me yeah. even more. It allowed me to express that side of me so. in a very creative way. In a very creative way, yeah. yeah. And it doesn't have to be a sexual thing. No. It's, um, an art form where I can like I can enjoy feeling sexy but not having to be uh, you know like it's sexualized not, yeah, yeah sexualized but it's great. <laughs> but yeah, and it sounds like it definitely helped with, you know, as you said, that background of, you know, being part of the King community mm. and, you know, being part of the community where, like, as you were saying, uh, consent is, like, 100% the main priority when it comes to that sort of things. And yes. knowing of what you're comfortable with and all that sort of thing, it seems like that was really helped you just be comfortable with yourself as an individual. And then yeah. so when you moved into burlesque, it was like, as you were saying, it was a way of you expressing that side of you yes. where you can have that sexy side of you, but then also you um, aren't 
being sexualized in mm. that way as well. And I think that's really awesome that you have that comfortability yeah. when it comes to that. No. And um, so I'll ask you, so when it comes to your performer name, so how did you, um, what was the inspiration behind your uh, performer name? Yes, so I wanted something that was still resonated with my own name. Mm. Um, and then I think once, okay, sorry, so starting with this, um, and Sylvan actually was something that someone, my, one of my older friends that I can high school used to accidentally call me because she thought that was my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I yeah, love that. It's like, yeah. nope, that's not my name. <laughs> and no, that's not my name. But now I'm like, you know what? Yes, this will be my stage name. It fits well. Yeah. And so then I started to look at other words, adjectives, like describing words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that I started with S. So I started oh. listing them and then sort of pairing them together with Sylvan as the base. And just what really rolled off the tongue well. Yeah. Um, and sounded fluid, and yeah, just testing with people as well. And mm. Savage was sort of, I wanted something that's sort of like elegant, but also mm. kind of powerful in a way. Yeah. Um, and so that's sort of alluring. That's the word we're yeah. looking for. Alluring. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that is how it came about. Yeah. When I paired it with that right Silvana and then Silvage mm. was the word that fit really well and it sort of rolled really well yeah and that was just how it was born amazing I love it it's like and it does roll off the tongue really real well when um, I was saying it uh, when I was reading it, I'm like huh it actually has a really cool flow to it yeah so I love that I love that you um, and also it has a very personal meaning as you said yes. you know everyone thought um, that was how they were they pronounce your name and you're just like no and it's like and then when you came to performing like you know what? I'm gonna. I might actually take that. Yeah, I'll <laughs> take it. Thank you. I might actually take. Whoever messed up my name, thank you very much, because now I'm using it actually as a performer name. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Incredible. I, I love that. It, it's like it has a bit of a personal feel to it as well. Mm. You know, something yes. personal towards it. And I think because we were talking about this off camera when we were doing the photo shoot. So how would you describe your persona on stage? Yes. What would you say? So I'm very much into which is. I'd say it's a little, it's different from who I am in person because I'm very much like, yeah, like happy a lot of the time. And nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nothing wrong. But like, and then I think for my persona, I wanted something very like alluring and dark, but also mm. sort of playful and cheeky. I mean, that is also, I am cheeky in person, but mm. I wanted something that's sort of like, that's slower but sharp in my, the way I portray my character in burlesque. Yeah. Um, and just try something that's different from what I'm like in real life, but bringing that energy because that's also part of you inside as well. It's just another mm -hmm. aspect of who I am, but yeah. just not someone I might put out, you know, every day today. Of course. So it's stuff I like to sort of, another side of me that I want to play with, that I want to yeah. introduce. And that's sort of um, where I have this space when performing, it's, oh, I can actually be another side of me that I've, you know, don't always, that I don't always get yeah. the opportunity to become. And I think that's what's really good about performing and well, that is having that opportunity to, yeah, try mm -hmm. new things, try an another side of you and you might want to try it for one performance and then another performance I might want to try a different side. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's sort of, my style is at the moment very, yeah. yeah sort of teasing, very teasing, dark, yeah. um, cheeky, but sharp, and I described I like it. it before as I seduct you, seduce you, and then I want to eat you. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Uh, that, that, that did make me laugh when you explained that. I'm like, oh wow, that's a very um, interesting, uh, I don't think anyone's ever described their son like that, but I love it. Yeah. Very different. But I, I also love because you said that it's a really cool way for you to, like, obviously there's still a part of you that is in your your persona, but it also, you're able to explore other aspects where you're just like, I'm not always able to do that in everyday life. So, yeah. you know what, I don't, I'm not afraid to explore that. And I think that's been really cool that, um, I think I've heard a lot of performers who are like, you know, it gives them the opportunity to go, I'm going to push myself out of this little shell that I'm in so I can explore this mm. side of me so yes. we can create something like, you know, that I may not be able to do it every day. You exactly. Know? Yeah. And I think that's awesome. And it's a great space for that. Like everyone's so open and everyone's so mm. welcoming um, and supportive and it makes you feel 
you know, really safe to be able to try different things and express mm. yourself in different ways. So it's such a great community to be part of. Oh, absolutely. And we're all happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> I think everyone, like I've always heard amazing things about you through oh. so many people. So like, I was just, <laughs> when I um, was planning uh, to do more photos, I was like, Yes, I need to message this person because I've been hearing so many good things. I'm like, yes, it's hey. going to be on top of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, it's been so great working with you oh, today. So. Right back at you. <laughs> and um, I guess, as, so as a final question to wrap this up, so we've um, now in March, I had to think about that for a second yeah, well, while well, we're recording this. I think <laughs> this video will be around in like late March and all that. So, what are some of your plans for uh, the future for, yeah, your work and all that? So, what yeah. are you, your plans? Well, at the moment, um, I think I'm part of, so, do you know Icky? Yes. Rasputin? Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, so he's got a group called Wet Posse. Oh, yes. yes. I do know that. So yeah. I sort of, um, I've done some stuff with him and, uh, in the part of the group. So I think coming April, we're going to be doing something for a solo showcase. Incredible. That I've, yes. That I really want to really look forward to be being part of. Um, I'm also doing a working on a duet with someone else. Oh. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's exciting. Yeah, so very exciting. I'm really excited about that. So we met up and did like um, a sort of a, we had an idea of song and style and then got together and we're like, let's just, you know, play the music and try this, see how it rolls out. And yeah. so we've done our first practice and that's going to keep going and that will hopefully, yeah, mid to late in a year. Um, Incredible. And I've always got solo ideas, so I think, yeah, he wants to come. And I would love to, I would love to be able to perform um, within, I think that's one of my goals, is to perform for, or at least put in a, <laughs> uh, um, what do you say, like, Email them, or at least yeah. approach them and say perform for the Kingspace. Oh, so, okay, awesome. coming out late in the year, um, and yeah, provocation once a month. They've got um, at the moment they've got performances up once a month as well for the events that they do. Yes. So yeah, just a lot of opportunities in that space, and I'd love to because I started in there, that area. Like I'm still there, part of that community, and I'd love to sort of bring it all together into mm. one and just be able to. Title and yeah, yeah, and mate. It sounds like you've got some very exciting things to come. Yeah, and I'm, I'm myself, I'm very much looking forward to seeing so many incredible things uh, that you'll be performing in. Please keep me posted and let me know what else I can do to come and support you as well. Thank you. And um, <laughs> once again, um, I want to say a huge thank you for taking the time to come onto the channel. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. I appreciate being here. And yes, thank you so much for interviewing me oh, today. <laughs> it's my pleasure, my pleasure. And so for everyone watching at home, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of The Creator's Process. If you want to check out uh, Silvana's amazing work, I'll leave links to everything that she does down below. Go support it. If she's performing in the area, go see her perform. Absolutely amazing performer. Like, absolutely incredible. And as I keep saying, let's keep supporting our amazing community. Go to shows, pay for photography. Uh, we have the power to help each other out during these times. And yeah, just let's keep supporting our amazing community. You know, let's keep that train going. <laughs> and uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.